Hi, I'm Mark Spahalski, Senior VoIP Engineer at VoIP Supply, and I'm here to unbox our brand new product, the Renegade PBX. So let's get to it. Immediately you can see the USA sticker. This product is proudly made in the USA. So inside the box, we have the PBX itself and the power cord. With the power cord, there's also an included Cat5 cable in the rack gears. On the back of the Renegade PBX, we see the power supply, keyboard and mouse, HDMI, VGA, two Ethernet gigabit ports, four USB, sound card, and two PCI card slots. The Renegade PBX ships with many different options, but they all ship with at least a 61 gigabyte solid state drive, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and supports up to 75 concurrent calls. This particular PBX shipped with Elastix, an asterisk based PBX, but for a complete list of options, visit VoIPsupply.com. Now that we've unboxed the Renegade PBX, let's put it to good use. So next I'd like to register the Grandstream GXV3275, one of my personal favorites, and the super popular GXP2140. First thing we need to do is plug the PBX into the outlet. Then we can also plug it into the network. I'll also add the two phones to the network. If you don't have external power supplies for your phones, Make sure you're plugging them into a PoE-enabled switch. Now that the Renegade PBX is fully powered on, we're ready to log into the web interface via the IP address assigned by our DHCP server. Our IP address in the lab is going to be 10.10.10.56. Accept the self-signed certificate and use the standard credentials admin and VoIP supply. Now it's time to create a couple of extensions and register the two phones. The first step is to click on the PBX tab. Then to add an extension, click Submit. We'll call this first extension 2001. And we'll just call it Test. We'll leave the rest default for now, but we'll pay particular attention to the SIP secret, which we'll need later. We'll scroll down and click Submit. We'll also apply the config and create the second extension. The next step is to log to each phone and register to the Renegade PBX. On the GXV3275, it's very easy. On the home screen, it already tells you what the IP address is, so we'll just enter that into our browser.
on the GXP2140, we hit the center button, go to status, and network status. Next, we'll register the accounts on the phones to the extensions we built on the PBX. We'll use the same SIP password that was originally presented to us on the extension page. Now we have both extensions added. Now that both extensions are registered, we can place a test call using the extensions we created, 2001 and 2002. Hello, Hello thank you for calling VoIP, VoIP supply. supply. And it's really that easy to create a couple of extensions and have them work in only about 10 minutes or so. For any further questions regarding the Renegade PBX or any other VoIP supply needs, please visit the brand new VoIPsupply.com website. In the next video, we're going to be building a SIP trunk so that we can make and receive calls from the outside. Once again, I'm Mark Spahalski, Senior VoIP Engineer at VoIP Supply, and thanks for watching.